Well, everyone probably knows the Summer Leadership Program is my far best, my favorite program to do, um, project to do. Uh, the summertime is adventurous. There's never a boring moment, and the kids keep you young, that's for sure. It's an eight-week program uh, for ages four through 17 that we have um, uh, our central locations right there at the uh, Washington Improvement Group gym complex. The primary goal is to make sure they get a hot meal every day. We had an average of about 135 to 145 kids a day that we fed a good hot meal to. And with that, we have added components that we do. We have um, an academic portion, which we do, which is this year we did the IXL. So students had to spend so many hours on the IXL system per week. And that was an incentive um, if they completed their assignments to be able to go on the field trips. On IXL, we learn math and reading. When we're on the computer, we do IXL and learn better. We have um, arts and crafts. We, uh, of course, we have fun time too. We, we did reading and math. We really focused this year a lot on uh, language arts because of the reading skills, you know, making sure the reading skills stay where they need to stay. There was a couple of additional things that we added to this year's um, uh, activity calendar. Uh, this year, the City of Port St. Joe Police Department, along with the Gulf County Sheriff's Department, came out and spent the day with us. They brought out their unique vehicles and sirens and all this other stuff that they have, and the children got to enjoy um, a day with the officers. The summer leadership camp not only has the day camp component, but also we hire up between 20 to 23 summer interns, and that is paid internships. This year we, uh, we housed 10 of them there at the gym, and the rest of them were put in the community. We did pick up a new employer this year, which was Buy Right Drugstore, because we had a young lady who's going into the pharmaceutical career, and she wanted to work at a pharmacy. So here at the Summer Leadership Program, I'm what you call an out-of-campus out of intern, and um, I work at Buy Right Drugs in the pharmacy and I'm just, they call me a clerk, so I just answer the phones and um, help fill prescriptions and talk to the people when they come in. I started as a kid here in this program and growing up, I just always helped and stuff. And this year I decided to come here and work. I love St. Joe because it's where I grew up. This county means a lot to the city of Port St. Joe because and keep the kids out of trouble and give them something to do. To addition to their, their internship that they do, whether on the campus or off the campus, each Friday they would come to the computer lab to engage in some learning aspects of, of jobs, of, of how to search for a job, how to prepare a resume. And that um, training came from our Career Source Center in Panama City uh, staff came over to train them. If it wasn't for the Jesse Ball DuPont Foundation, we would not be able to do the summer leadership camp. It was it's through their generosity of, and their donations that they give each year to be able to fund all the activities that we do, to help fund the, um, the program itself, the staff that we put in place. So it's through their generosity that we're able to have the summer leadership camp. If I wasn't at summer camp, I'll be sleeping mostly all the time. If I didn't have summer camp, I'll just stay home and play on my phone. The Summer Leadership Camp provides the students a place to go each day, a place to have fun, a place to be safe, a place to even learn, and may, again, most important, a place to have a nice hot meal every day, knowing that they have a good hot meal every day.